All right, guys. So we went ahead already. You created your target market, and now it's time for you to actually start to put together an advertisement that's going to help you reach out to people. So I want to show you how to do that. And remember, in order to start this process, you have to have a business page. You can't run an ad off of your personal live feed. So what you want to do is I'm going to go here to the White Picker Realty business page. And you want to create your business page. So if that's something you haven't done, you need to have one in order to be able to run these ads. And then I am going to go right over here to manage promotions. This is going to get me into the Facebook ad manager. And before we go in and actually create an ad, I want to show you how to create an audience, how to create a group of people, a segment who you are going to be targeting. So you can create audiences in a lot of different ways. On this one right here, I'm just going to say sample audience for 300K plus buyer. Now, we want to think about all of these different types of demographics, behaviors, things that are going to make people want to buy a house with me. It's not just buy a house in general. So the first thing that we want to do is obviously we want to figure out what is the age range of somebody buying a $300,000 house. Now, 65 and plus, they're not buying $300,000 houses more than likely. Those are people who are going to be downgrading. It's time for them to, to downsize, get a smaller house, move the family into that. And 18-year-olds, they're also not going to be buying a $300,000 house. We have to start to get in that mentality of who our client is, that age range and all those demographics surrounding that. So I'm going to start by saying, and I'll ask you, 19, are they buying $300,000 houses? No, 20, well, no, 21, 22, 23, 21, 22 is when people start to graduate college, but they haven't really saved up any money for that down payment. So we're going to continue 24. That's one year, two years out of college, 25. Maybe they're getting their starter home, a 200,000, something in the average price range. So we're really going to be shooting for this 30 year old, somebody who's on their second home, they've done the starter home, and they're getting ready to buy a little bit bigger family home. And then I'm going to make this way smaller, this age range. And I'm going to think, at what point are people not really moving into a $300,000 home, maybe a four or 500,000. But if I'm shooting for a $300,000 buyer, I really want to be stopping right around this 40 age range. So you see, we've now taken our age range and gone from 18 to 65 plus, which is everybody. And now we're really targeting. And there's a big difference because mass marketing means you send it to the masses and you hope that it sticks. We're doing laser focused targeting. So yes, we're going to be targeting less people, but they're going to be seeing our advertisement more often. And that's a good thing because they're also more likely to be the person who's going to purchase from us. So now we're going to get into locations. And I really want to start to think about what zip codes, what areas of town are available for me in order to be able to target that. So first I'm going to type in Houston because that's the area that we're in. So I want to go ahead and I want to zoom the map into Houston. Now here's a problem. Houston is an incredibly large city. It is the fourth largest city by population in the United States. That's huge. So we want to think, what part of town are people buying these $300,000 plus houses in? So there's two parts specifically that I want to target. And you're going to see here, I'm actually going to get rid of this one Houston. I just wanted to get zoom in. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find areas that I want to target. So I know that Sugarland, Missouri City, they have areas that are there that would fit perfectly. So first I'm going to target that area. And you see here it's got a little radius. I'm going to bring that radius down to five miles. I want that Sugarland area, Sugarland proper. And then the other area of town that I think is great right now for $300,000 buyers is going to be that Edo part of town, that east end where homes are selling for $250 to $400. That falls perfectly into our area. So I'm going to take a pin. I'm going to drop it in that area. And you see, whoa, wait a minute, 10 miles. That's way too big. So let's go down. We're going to make that one three miles. 
And I still think it might be a little too large. So I could actually go down just a little bit and I can go down to two miles. So I can go in here and I can type in two miles and make that search smaller. So now I'm looking at a demographic there. That's perfect. I really, really like what I'm seeing on here. I'm getting this whole East in Lawndale area where I'm likely to get people in that 250 to $300,000, $350,000 price range. So now we figured out location. Remember, your location might be different. If you're in Kingwood, there may be parts of Kingwood that you love, that you know are in the same price range, or they're in a price range that worked for you. I'm doing this as an example of something that would work for me. Being in the Southwest, being close to Central Houston, looking for those $300,000 buyers, this is an area that works for me. I'm actually going to expand that to three miles. The longer I sit here talking, the more I feel better about making that a little bit larger. So now that I've got my locations, what we want to look at is all of these demographics, all of these different items that we can actually look at. So we click on here and we can actually browse and we can start to look at demographics. And this is where I was telling you guys earlier, you want to start to pick the income ranges for your buyers, for your people. So we're going to go into demographics and let's start off with financial. And we want to look at income. And we want to think, what income is this buyer in? And we're going to say 100 to 125. We'll look at this 75 to 100 because that may not necessarily be household. And we're going to look at the 125 to 150. We're going to narrow it down to that. Does that mean that people that make more than 150 won't buy a 300,000? Not at all. Does that mean that people that make less don't somehow have the ability to buy it? Not at all. But remember, we're not shooting for the anomaly. We're trying to get the compression. We're trying to get into that price range that is going to have the most people available to buy my home. If I was shooting for million dollar houses, I might be going for 250 to 350, 350 to 500. So now We've looked at that. We understand what that person might be. Now, another thing that we may be looking at is anniversary. If people are celebrating their anniversary soon, maybe they're thinking about moving. I'm not saying that's a demographic that actually works, but it's different things that we can look at. And if you look on here, you have birthday, friends of, long distance relationships. They just got a new job. They just got engaged. They just were married. Hmm newlyweds that have been married for a year might be looking to upgrade those homes. So we want to look at that as well. So I'm going to click on that. I'm actually going to include newlywed in here. I'm going to include not recently moved because if they recently moved, they're probably not looking. Now here it says parents. We can actually come on here and select everyone who's a parent. That's the people who I want to target for my demographic. Now, there's a lot of different features that you can use and that you can look at when you're targeting on Facebook. But what I want to show you is one of the coolest features that you can use, which is this exclude people. So you can actually exclude certain targets. So I want to go on here and I want to exclude realtors. So I want to look on here and you see it says Weikert Realtors, and it's going to have a lot of different types of realtors and associations that they're associated with. So I want to first get rid of anyone who's National Association of Realtors. They've got that on their profile. That means that they're proud of being a realtor. So now let me go on here. I'm going to type realtor again, and I'm going to look for what other people I can exclude. Now, when you're working from home, you'll be able to really zoom in on your computer, look at this differently. It doesn't work as great for me when I'm on the screen on here, but you can play with it with your regional success partner. And you want to go through here and you want to remove people who you don't think are going to fit into your demographic. So if their interest is being a real estate broker, I had somebody who I want to exclude. I don't want to be running advertisement to them. I don't want to waste my advertising dollars. Now, guys, there's a lot of different things that you can do on here. Example, you can go on here and you can narrow your search and you see it says and must also match at least one of the following. So not only do they have to be all of these, but they need to at least match one of the following. And I can come in here and I can type in different behaviors, different interests. And you'll want to go through them. You'll want to spend quite a bit of time. And this gets us into our contest. So we're going to be doing a contest this week to see who can create 
the most effective ad. Now, next week, we're going to be really focusing on looking at the analytics, looking at whose advertisements are working, whose advertisements are not working, what's good about the advertisements that are working, what's not so great about the ones that are not working, and we're going to dive in deep to the analytics. But you really need to get on here, spend at least $25, and that's how much it's going to be for the contest. It's $25 in ad spend, and see what is the best ad that you can come up with to target a specific audience for your ads for your leads now remember you also run an ad from your sync page so that's where you actually create the search think about searches that people would actually be looking for so if you want three hundred thousand dollar buyers your search better be in the three hundred thousand dollar house range you don't want to run an advertisement for look at the most expensive houses in houston just to get random buyers because you have no idea where those buyers are going to be qualified you're throwing a large fishing net out but you have no idea what you're going to get so really focus that down maybe you could do one the best four bedroom houses for three hundred thousand the most luxurious houses for three hundred thousand the best new construction homes for three hundred thousand there's a lot of different types of advertisements that you can run and then you'll really want to play with the facebook ad manager so if you don't have a business page you need to get your business page up you need to go in you need to start to create audiences for your advertisement then copy your links drop them in here target that to your audience and let's run this and let's see next week out of each office who can generate the most leads we'll have a prize per office and we'll have one big prize for the person company wide who was able to generate the most leads with an only $25 ad spend. So this isn't about who can spend the most money. This is about who can target their marketing the best to generate exactly what it is that they're looking for. Guys, I hope that that was very helpful for you. I wish that we had time to go through there and really look at all of the different things that Facebook has, but you really have to play with it yourself. That'll take you two, three, four, five hours and you can watch a ton of videos online that will also help you break down those demographics if you go on youtube you can actually search on there facebook target marketing and it'll help you look at all those different things that you can utilize so guys thank you so much i hope that today's been helpful for you and next week we'll come back in we'll look at the analytics find out how everyone's ads are doing and see who was able to create the best ad with the least ad spend 